Try to find the sunny side of life. Hi, I'm Harry Marks, and this is Let's All Go to the Lobby, your introduction to the film you're about to watch. Up next is my favorite Marx Brothers film, about a college football game and a harebrained case of mistaken identity. This is 1932's Horse Feathers. Horse Feathers stars Groucho as Professor Quincy Adams Wagstaff, who is named as the new president of Huxley College. His son Frank, played by Zeppo, is tired of the school's football team losing, so he convinces his father to hire a couple of ringers to play for the team. Well, as is to be expected in a Marx Brothers movie, Wagstaff doesn't hire the right players. He hires Chico and Harpo instead. Horse Feathers, like many of the brothers' early films, were made during the pre-code days, which meant there were some jokes and bits that were eventually cut after release. One such joke involved an interaction between Chico's character, Baravelli, and Connie Bailey, played by Thelma Todd. Connie says, Baravelli, you overcome me, to which Baravelli responds, all right, but remember, it was your idea. Only a few minutes of footage are missing from the original cut of the film, leaving the final version as close to the original runtime as possible. As for what was left in, Horse Feathers gave audiences a glimpse into the Marx's earlier days. Many of the routines were plucked right from their vaudeville show, Fun in High School, with high school spelled H-I-S-K-U-L-E. One such bit was the classroom scene where Groucho goes over the parts of the body while Chico and Harpo run amok behind his back. And unsurprisingly, their on-screen behavior more or less mirrored their behavior off-screen as well. For example, in the scene where Groucho serenades Miss Bailey in the boat, she falls out and Groucho continues paddling without her. He didn't know she couldn't swim, and kept going with the scene until a couple of crew members went in after her. On another occasion, a young Shirley Temple walked by the set with her parents. This is before she became a famous child star. Well, Harpo apparently walked up to her parents that day and offered them $50,000 to adopt her. They obviously turned him down. But some of the brothers' off-screen actions weren't all fun and games. In several scenes, it's clear that Chico was limping, but that wasn't part of the script. The actor had been involved in a car accident that had shattered his knee and broken several ribs. Filming had to be delayed for two months while he recovered, and a body double was used for certain football scenes, including the one where the brothers all pile into the garbage wagon chariot to score the winning touchdowns. Yes, touchdowns. Thanks, Harpo. Horse Feathers is regarded as one of the best films the Marx Brothers ever made, and it left a lasting impact on popular culture that persists to this day. It's where we get the joke password Swordfish from. It also originated the sight gag of physically cutting a deck of cards with a blade, a joke that's been performed by the likes of the Three Stooges and Bugs Bunny over the years. So enjoy the Marx Brothers' fourth outing for Paramount, the one that landed them on the cover of Time magazine in 1932. Starring Groucho, Chico, Harpo, Zeppo, Thelma Todd, and David Landau, here's Horse Feathers. <laughs>